Yo, what is happening? My name is Abdin, and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Let's Play series. This is episode 16, and today, guys, you can see it is snowing in Lumberland. We just got a brand new snow update. It gets us in the Christmas spirit, which, speaking of Christmas... We are getting very close to Christmas, which means we got to stock up on the new gifts that we've gotten. So that's the first order of business, but something else that is super epic is that we just got a new tree in Lumber Tycoon. So we need to look for that. Go hunting for the new blue spruce tree because it is super epic and we got to get as much of it as possible before they potentially stop spawning sometime in January. But yeah, with that said let's get straight into this video so we can start stocking up and looking for this new blue spruce tree Alrighty guys, so the first order of business is we gotta go ahead and stock up on some of those gray gifts the silly gifts of uh No way, I'm in a private server. How did that happen? What? Excuse me. Okay, so we just found the new blue spruce tree in a private server. Okay, well, I guess that means that it is not impossible to get a blue spruce in a private server. This is the brand new tree. I am very surprised that we just found one immediately. So we have the blue spruce axe, which is actually the best axe to use on this new tree. I just can't believe we found it. It's right next to what are us. We didn't even have to go into the taiga biome. So let's go ahead and chop this down right away this is super awesome let's get this in our sawmill asap look at how awesome this new wood is so we need to get as much of this as possible because i don't know if it's always going to be in the game it's probably going to be limited to just the winter events i i'm going to assume that it's only it's, it's gonna come back every christmas kind of like spook does but i do want to make sure that i have some because i'm gonna assume that it's not going to be here forever and that it's kind of like spook just for the winter event so we got to make sure that we have this so we got to kind of make sure that we have at least some of this new wood because this is absolutely epic and I know it will come in handy for building. So we definitely will want to make sure that we have a bunch of it. So let's go ahead and chop this thing up, get it into the sawmill. Now with this kind of tree, I don't know if I'm going to be able to auto unload it. It's probably easier just to cut it up manually. So let's go ahead and get out the blue spruce axe, the blue steel axe, and let's chop it up like so. Okay, I've almost gotten all of the branches off of this main piece. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, okay. Yeah, chopping chopping in first person with this axe is crazy because this axe will fling you very far. It's a very broken axe. It's kind of funny. But yeah, uh, I'm going to try not to fling myself because there is the chance that I could die and lose all of my axes. So I'm going to try to keep my <laughs> camera very steady because that's what causes it if you turn too quickly with this axe while you're chopping it will fling you crazy far so i mean this happens with every axe but particularly with the blue steel axe it's just extra glitchy it's very good for axe flinging that's not gonna fit in our sawmill we gotta probably chop it up or maybe rotate it see if that'll fit oh it's so close maybe I mean, it's so close, we might as well see if we could do the sawmill glitch. I mean, it was patched, but I'm pretty sure there's a little leeway, so let's go ahead and try that. Nope, nope, no, nope, that's not going to work. Okay, so let's just go ahead and chop it right here. That's probably going to be enough. Okay, so I've just chopped it in half. Let's go ahead and put this piece in. Hopefully that'll fit. Nope, it doesn't. Let's try rotating it if we can. Oh no, it's kind of wedged in there. I think we're going to have to move this so we can actually use this okay let's try flipping it on its side maybe this side is a little bit better it's kind of hard to tell no it's just this little piece uh i don't know how to chop this piece off i think i'm gonna oh oh, oh i, I kind of got it there we go okay let's see this thing process out oh yes look at that big old chunk and it's still going look at that massive chunk of blue spruce let's get that on our shelves 
Oh, that is awesome. So we got some new blue spruce wood. This is great. Is it even going to fit on our shelves? Not even. It's not even going to fit on our shelves. That's how massive this piece is. That is great. We are getting blue spruce straight off the bat in this episode, which is awesome. That is the main goal of this episode is to get as much blue spruce as possible because it is a new tree and uh, it's probably going to be gone soon. And I feel like wood is going to be a lot more useful than the new items, the new gifts. So I want to make sure that I have as much as possible of this new wood. Let's go ahead and get that in and put this piece in. And then we're, of course, as I said, we're going to get as many of those branches in as well. Let's see if that's going to process out. Ooh, that's a nice big piece. Let's save these before they go up <laughs> too far into the cutter because we don't want them all cut up. We want them in these nice large chunks because I feel like that's rarer or something. I don't know. Man, these chunks are huge. Look at how big those are. Those are crazy large. So I'll just put that piece right there. And I think that will be it for this tree other than the little branches. And then we got to go find some more. I wonder if any more will spawn in this private server. I mean, I got really lucky finding one in a private server. I think that's a new change where now you can find them in private servers. Because previously you just weren't able to at all. They were just not spawning in private servers at least from all of my observations but i mean i could be wrong okay let's rescue these little pieces i should actually probably just switch this so that all of the pieces are just gonna go pretty much where i want them that'll be much better so yeah, with the wood warehouse, we have 14 slots for different woods. That's not all of the woods. We now have 18 different types of woods. Actually, it's more like 19 if you count fir, but it's the same color as pine, and I never get fir trees, so we don't really need a separate bin for that. So we gotta kind of prioritize. I don't think I'm going to have a place for sinister wood just because I don't think that I really use sinister wood all that often. It's so rare that I don't really use it, and if I do, then I'll, I'll use it, I'll buy it, particularly for a build, and I won't have it just laying around on my base. So yeah, I have to kind of prioritize which bins we actually need. I'm definitely going to have a bin for this new blue spruce wood, because this is awesome. We got a new wood in the game, first one in almost six years, which... Honestly, that is insane. It's been six years almost, and I'm pretty sure the last wood we got was frost wood. So we got a new wood that is also blue, but it's a much cooler kind of blue because we got the wood texture on it, and it's kind of like gray wood, which is very awesome because we've been asking for gray wood for forever. I mean, it's not quite gray. It's more blue than gray, but it's a bluish gray, okay? I guess some wood made it up to the sawmill because we got some some wood trickling down. Uh, I don't know what to do about that. I'm just going to put these over here with all of the wood. Um, currently, we don't have a space for it, but as I was saying, we're going to probably have a slot for it in the new wood warehouse that we're building over there for all of this blue spruce all right every last bit of this tree must be sawmilled this is the last piece i don't that's such a small piece i don't know if it's even gonna get accepted by the sawmill on its smallest size this is very very tiny but yeah we got this piece yeah that's not gonna sawmill i wonder if we could <laughs> i mean it's kind of crazy to be savoring all of the little pieces but it's currently a very valuable tree right now because it is new and I don't think anyone's really duplicated it. Okay, so we got that tiny little piece. I don't know how useful that's going to be, but we did just get every last piece of that tree, which is awesome. Now we got to go ahead and stock up on items. And then after we're done stocking up, we're going to go right back to searching for blue spruce because we want to get as much blue spruce as possible. Possible, since of course it is a new tree and I am hyped for this new tree so I wonder if we will get another one in this server I know they can spawn even twice in one server like two at the same time 
I don't know if we're gonna get that since they are kind of rare but we do want to search the taiga biome. I'm not going to do that quite yet because we do need to stock up. And I highly doubt that there will be a new one for a while in this server. But I don't know the new spawning mechanics because it does seem like they have changed since the last time I checked. Since, I mean, Defaultio just updated the game like 20 minutes ago or something. So yeah, that's kind of crazy. We got some new spawning mechanics. Which, yeah, as I said, it's going to be kind of hard to tell what, <laughs> how often these trees are going to spawn and if we're going to be able to get another one in this server. But anyways, let's go ahead and get a small truck like so. And we need to stock up on the silly gift of six sides in What Are Us. Now, this is the other gift that I was saying that I kind of wanted to get a bunch of because it is really cheap, which means that it'll probably go way up in price after it goes off sale. So we want to get as many as possible. So let's just... Oh, that's so nice. Very convenient to just get all of these into my, my truck. Very easy because I can just drag them literally down and they just go right into the truck. They fall right into it. So that is very, very nice. That makes my job a lot easier. So now what we got to do is we just got to put all of these onto the counter and then we can buy them all at once and then once we have done that we can put them all into my long truck that i have put right there which is going to speed up the process but yeah nine of these gifts is under two thousand lumber bucks so that is very cheap and considering previous years i'm going to say that these gifts are probably going to go way up in price i mean we haven't gotten a gift like this in a previous year this is kind of a new one i can kind of tell that it's not going to be a retexture just because it's very abnormal it's not going to be like a ball or anything because we already got the ball we already got our wobbly bobbly and I mean, it could be a candy cane, like, but I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna say it's probably not gonna be a candy cane just because the wrapping is kind of, kind of suggests that it's gonna be something else. But yeah, ooh, that's super nice. We can actually fit a row of these into this truck, which is going to be very nice. We can just very ni nicely package these. I wonder if we want to get this nicely organized or not. We could just make it so all of these are in the same orientation and that might make it look a little bit better. Problem with doing that is that it's not always going to be nicely packaged. I mean, it's very easy to accidentally mess this up. But, you know what, for now, I mean, I, I want the satisfaction of having all of the gifts nicely packaged. Okay, um, we just got a few more gifts to put on, and then we can get another load. We're gonna fill this entire truck entirely full of these items, because in anticipation for the new item storage that I'm going to build, we want to get as many gifts as we can because we're going to finally have a place for them, which is going to be super convenient. So yeah, um, I'm just going to not be shy with stocking up. I, I, I'm going to regret this because this is going to be a huge pain to organize all of these, especially with all of the Thanksgiving items that we still have to organize. It's going to be quite a problem. It's going to be a pain. But you know what? I want to get all of the profits from this. We're going to get super rich after these go off sale. I mean, we have already gotten like 3 million from the gifts that we stocked up on last year probably more than 3 million because i have been spending a ton of money recently so probably many millions of dollars that we have gotten from this stock up season last year and so this stock up season is probably going to be just as if not more profitable because we have a lot more money this year which means that we can stock up quite a bit more now it does seem like we might get a little less presents this year because we did get the blue spruce tree which is massive and that's probably defaultio's excuse for not adding adding more gifts which you know what that's pretty that's fine for me to be honest because I mean we got a new tree this is the first one in almost six years as I've been saying a lot in this episode it's just crazy that we got a new tree 
So yeah, I'm not too disappointed that we're probably not gonna get too many more gifts. I mean, I can't say for sure. We could absolutely get more gifts than last year, but it kind of seems like we're slowing down on the amount of gifts. But yeah, like I said, the new tree is definitely going to make up for any missing presents this year. Especially considering that we got a new axe out of it and stuff like that. And it's just a really good color, so we're definitely going to use it a lot for building in the future. Alright, that is another load. Let's go ahead and buy this. So far, the truck is starting to get a little bit full. We got three rows, and probably we need like three, four, five and a half more rows in order to complete this. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be done with this truckload. We're probably around about halfway done with it after this little row right here. All right, let's get some more of these gifts and I'm probably not going to stock up much more on any of the green gifts of golly goodness G good golly goodness I think they are those ones on the back shelves right here nor am I going to stock too heavily up on the blue steel axe I mean I probably get more just because now they have a great use but considering that you can get them during the time that the tree is available um, I'm gonna say that it's probably not going to go too heavily up in price I mean it's probably going to be useless assuming that blue spruce stops spawning after the winter event Alrighty, now I can close the tailgate and we can take all of these gifts back to my base and again the reason I'm doing this is because these will go off sale on the 25th of December probably and once that happens I will never be able to get these gifts ever again and as such no one else will be able to which means they will go way up in price and I will be able to make quite a profit reselling them to other players. But yeah, there is one truck completely full. Now we just gotta get some other ones. So we got the gift of pixelation to stock up on as well as the gifts from fancy furnishings. Let's go ahead and grab this truck right here and currently it is night so that means that fancy furnishings will not be open but what we can do is we can get this truck over here. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to drop all of my axes right here because what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this truck all the way over to fancy furnishings and then we're gonna reset and I don't want to lose my axes so I'm just going to drop them on my base because if I were to reset I would automatically drop all my axes and if I lost connection in that moment I would definitely lose all of my axes so it's just a safety procedure but basically I'm going to reset once I get to fancy furnishings and then I'm going to go grab the small truck so we're gonna do the same thing that we were doing in what are us with the small truck going back and forth kinda like using a shopping cart but in this case It'll be in fancy furnishings. Now, let's see, the moon is currently going down, but fancy furnishings probably won't be open for quite a while after that, so we're gonna have to wait at fancy furnishings for a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and put my truck over here so that I can get a truck in there, and then I can reposition the truck so that it will be easier to load with items. But now I can just reset real quick, and then I can go grab all of the items that I lost. So, let's see, I, I dropped all of my axes over here, so we're going to have to go over here and grab them. So, let's get this one. Uh, we're going to have to put my blueprint book over there. And honestly, I don't know why I'm carrying so many axes. I feel like I never use the fire axe and the frost axe is a very rare use case. So I'll just I'll just minimize it down to the mini axe, the blue steel axe, and the gingerbread axe. Because those are the axes that I use the most. At least the blue steel axe I know I'm going to use the most in this episode. But if the blue spruce tree stops spawning, I will probably probably remove it from my inventory because at that point it's not really very useful. It is a little bit better than the Rookery Axe I believe but not by much. And of course I have the Mini Axe which just champs all of those so it's just better to have the Mini Axe. Now 
Actually, I don't know what I'm doing. I think I can actually fit the faster truck, which might actually be more efficient. So let's go ahead and grab one of those. Currently, this truck is in the way, so we got to get this out of the way first. And let's go ahead and spawn this truck. I'm going to move this truckload over here so it's not in the way. And I don't have to worry about respawning my truck and the truck just disappearing and leaving a massive pile on my base of items. It's very nice to have other people's trucks. And I'll, also, I don't have to buy new spawners for it. So it's just really good to have that all around. But yeah, it looks like the sun is coming up, which means that we got to run over to Fancy Furnishings ASAP because it will be open soon and we will be able to get the new items. Alrighty, guys. Fancy Furnishings has just opened, which means that now we can start stocking up. So we're definitely going to want to stock up on these wobbly gifts first because the wobbly gifts are going to go up in price more and we want to get more of these which is kind of unfortunate because there is less of these gifts than there are of the lime gifts which means we can buy less at a time which means it'll go a little bit slower but no worries let's go ahead and buy this and then we need to reposition that truck over there so that we can actually uh, get all of the items into it much easier so let's go ahead and back up into the door well right here and just close that and now what we can do is we can just put these right here all right that is four we need a lot more than that so we need to stock up crazy so uh let's remember the names of this yes i was right the lime present is very long the, the name is very very long it even kind of condenses usually the names are much bigger than that but it has to be much smaller so that it'll actually fit so this is called the delightful lime present of excellent endurance and it's actually a little bit cheaper than I thought so we might want to stock up a little bit more on it than I was initially expecting since I, I thought it was more like in the 4000s but it looks like it's under 4000 lumber bucks which means we'll still be able to make quite a profit by stocking up on those okay let's see can we fit this in oh yes it's perfect it perfectly fits in here pretty sure the ball gift the the lime gift also does that so that is also awesome but yeah i'm thinking we'll probably fill this truck entirely full with these gifts because the ones from last year were very popular in the shop i, I think i sold actually just recently I, I sold the last one so that's crazy these are crazy very 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 popular so definitely going to get a lot of them this year but yeah you might notice that I am in a private server which I'm doing this in a private server because usually using a car in stores to move these unbought items usually doesn't work in public servers it usually breaks so that's why I have to do this in a private server and yeah that's why I was in a private server when we found the blue spruce but I guess they spawn in private servers I was not expecting blue spruce to spawn in private servers but I guess it does I, I was expecting it to spawn in private servers, just not very commonly. Okay, guys, I have been stocking up pretty much the entire day, and now it's looking like the sun is going down, which means I kind of got to get this truck out of the way, because if those doors close on the truck, we could lose all of that organization, and the truck will probably start glitching out, which would not be good. So we got to hurry up and get this done. I'm going to just for now at least get the truck out of the way of the doors just in case they close because we don't want the truck to <laughs> explode so let's go ahead and do that real quick just get this out of the way of the doors and that should be sufficient I think okay not quite we want to get it a little bit more okay that is probably sufficient and now what we got to do is we got to put these back uh, these have kind of slided back oh no all of them did uh let's just go forward a little bit and then yeah that works they all just 
immediately slid backwards, which was what I wanted. It is definitely turning night right now. The sky is very dark now. So we're going to see how much we can get before the store actually closes. And then I guess I'll just leave this truck here until morning so that I can get some more of these probably not more wobbly gifts but we do still need some of those lime gifts over there so we'll be back but not for a little bit we gotta wait until the store actually opens up again uh we do need five more gifts in order to completely fill this truck but i don't think we're gonna actually be able to do that but we're gonna at least see i don't know come on please don't close don't close don't close Gotta get all of these. Uh, 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 okay, bye, 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 bye. Yes, I would like to buy. Okay, now we gotta get these out as soon as possible so that we don't have to. Oh, 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 it closed. Okay. Uh, we got four, which we needed six. I think we're we're gonna have to just accept the slight shortage and be done with it. All right, so we got these out the door, and now what we gotta do is we gotta get these in place. This last one is always the hardest. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, that was very easy, actually. Um, okay, now we just put one on each side. And, yeah, we are one short, which sucks. But, you know what? It's fine. I'm not going to go back for more because we got enough... Okay, so yeah, like I said, I'm gonna leave that truck there, and we will be back once it is day, but we, for now, we gotta get all of these gifts back onto the base so that they don't despawn, or, well, if I lose connection, I would lose all of these, so I don't want that to happen, so we gotta get these all back to my base as soon as possible, just so that we don't lose all of these, because that would really suck, this took quite a while to get. But yeah, guys, I think if I were to sell this truckload a few months in the future, uh, I could probably get around 500,000 up to even a million lumber bucks for this. Now, right now, I don't know if I could get that much just because anyone can make one of these truckloads in a relatively short amount of time. But... In the future, no one's going to be able to get all of these gifts, so I'll, it'll definitely be worth quite a bit. I don't know if I want to sell them individually. I could just sell the truckloads, and that would be a lot faster, but I don't know. I also kind of just want to use the shop as much as possible. So yeah, let's get this up. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, shoot. I just glitched all of those out. I did not mean to do that. No. Okay. I, how bad is the damage? Oh, yikes. Okay. So it wasn't that bad, but now all these gifts are in the driver's seat, and I don't think we can fit those in. We can kind of. We have to move all of these back, like, very slightly, which really sucks. Dang it. See what I tell you? When you organize a truckload, it is very, very easy for all of that hard work to just go straight down the drain. And that's exactly what we saw right now, because all of these presents are now in the wrong place. Okay, so we got one more, and, uh, I mean, this was very, very low damage considering what it could have been, but it still kind of sucks. I'm just gonna leave that there. I... It's too much to deal with. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and close this right here. And let's see. So what are the two gifts that we have left? We got the Lime Gift and also the Gift of Pixelation, which I am pretty sure we're going to want to get as many Gifts of Pixelation as possible because the Gifts of Pixelation are big and they're in Fine Arts Shop, which means people are going to be after them. People are going to want them for sure. Oh yeah, also, did you guys notice there is totally ice over here, which is awesome. We got some new ice lining the ocean, which is really, really cool. But yeah, like I was saying, the Gift of Pixelation in Fine Arts is probably going to skyrocket in price because of just how big it is. I mean, it's a bigger gift, which usually bigger gifts equal more profit. So that's what we're going to go off of. Also, the fact that it is a fine arts gift, probably going to go way up in price after they go off sale. 
Currently, the fairy is not here though, so we can't really go over there. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wait for day. It looks like the moon is actually going down now, which is perfect timing, because now I can just go over. Looks like the <laughs> bridge is still down, which is really nice. So what we can do is we can just go straight back to fancy furnishings and stock up on those lime gifts. Come on, fancy furnishings, you can open. It's so close. I, I feel like it's going to open any second now because the sun is so high in the sky now. Uh, oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, now we can just back up the truck, close that door, open that tailgate, and now what we can do is stock up on these lime presents. This shouldn't take long because there is so many lime gifts that we can just stock up on so many. We can buy so much at once that it's going to go a lot faster, I would imagine, than the... Uh, stocking up on the wobbly gifts over here since there's only four there is how many gifts at once that you can buy one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten gifts which is going to be very helpful that's more than the silly gift of six sides that we stocked up on in what are us okay so that one that time i actually bought all ten of them at once and it's yeah it seems like it's 35 thousand lumber bucks for 10 of these yeah that's 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 not that bad to be honest i was expecting it to be a lot worse than that but yeah we'll definitely be able to make quite a bit of profit i wonder how much i've spent on this load alone let's see 6 12 24 5 and 46 Okay, so that's 3,510, so 3,510 3, times 46, did we say? So, so far it's been 161,000 for this truckload, which, to be honest, isn't that bad considering that usually truckloads of items go for around about 500 um, million I don't know I, I, I'm not a truckload seller so I couldn't say for sure but I know we're definitely gonna make some profit I think that's probably the final load of presents I don't know if I want to get too many of these gifts because I don't know I, I did say that I wasn't gonna get a full truckload of them and yeah, this is more than I ever expected to get, so I think this is probably fine, especially considering that the moon, or the sun is now going down. I can see it over there, so it's probably best to just call this the final present, and let's go ahead and go back to our base. And this is the second to last truckload that I think we'll do, because we still have the gift of pixelation, but I'm pretty sure that's the last gift that we have to stock up on. So yeah, let's let's just get that done. Alright, let's find a spot for these new gifts. Um, I'm thinking probably, ooh, do we have any space over there? It's kind of getting cramped. I don't know what to do. We don't really have a proper space for these. I guess I could put this truck right here. Again, this is just temporary until I get an item storage. But, yeah, probably just right here is probably fine. <laughs> We're making such a mess. I mean, it's, it's a lot better than the pile that I made over here with the Thanksgiving items. Because I don't know what to do with this. I have to manually take these one by one. At least we have these in a truck over here. Which is a lot better. But yeah, there is one thing that I did want to check right before we depart. And that is if there is any blue spruce in this server. Because I feel like there's probably been enough time for blue spruce to spawn. Now I gotta find some TNT, some dynamite, because I don't know if we have any dynamite right now. I don't I don't see any. Uh, there is a few white boxes over here, but I don't think any of those are dynamite. So let's go ahead and grab some dynamite while the bridge is still down so that we can, of course, check that area right there. So let's go ahead and grab some of that. And let's see if we can find any blue spruce in this server. Because, I mean, I kind of want to get that done before we go grab some gifts of pixelation. Because I know that'll take a long time. And by that point, I feel like any blue spruce that might be in this server will probably have despawned by then. So we kind of want to go fast. We want to go find some blue spruce. Or at least look for blue spruce before we get the gift of pixelation just because i feel like by the point that we 
go we we find blue spruce we chop it down and then go get a gift of pixelation go stock up on those i feel like we would find some more yeah let's go ahead and go over to this area oh well <laughs> oh oh what Okay, so that's a blue spruce tree over here, but we just found another one over here. Okay, the, the rates of blue spruce has definitely increased. What the heck? Okay, so we found two in the same... Sur oh, that's still growing. We might want to leave that to grow, because that, that one is not fully grown, and I feel like we probably want it to grow fully, but let's go ahead and go over here, because this one looks a little bit more fully grown. Let's see, is it still growing? I can't tell. I, I think it's probably fully grown, I guess. Oh my gosh, is that another one? Okay, I think the, the spawn rate might be a little bit messed up because I don't think it should be this common. Should it be? I don't know. That's the third one we found in this server. Let's go, let's go find some, see if there's any in the taiga biome. I was not expecting to find so many, jeez. Okay, so it is currently night, so we're gonna have to search a little bit harder, but yeah, we gotta go over to the taiga biome. Okay, let's put these right here, blow these up, and go run into our truck before things happen. Okay, there we go. Those should disappear, and now we gotta figure out, I mean, it's kind of hard to tell what's blue spruce and what is fir, because they pretty much look the same, especially at night, it's kind of hard to tell any blue spruce apart from fir trees, since, uh, again, they look pretty much the same, but so far I'm not seeing any, maybe I just got really lucky and got all of them in the mainland, that's kind of crazy, um... But yeah, I kind of have to shine my light on all of these trees because it's impossible to tell blue apart from green when it's this dark out. Okay, but that is three blue spruce in one server. That is insane. I think that is it. Yeah, that looks to be... Yeah, that's fur. So I think there is nothing in the uh, taiga biome. But yeah, let's go... Oh, 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 oh. Look at the size of that thing. Okay, we found another blue spruce. Jeez, that thing is massive. Okay, let's let's bring this back to our base. And then I guess we'll wait for the other ones. Is that another one? Okay, I think the defining characteristic is this big leaf on top. But yeah, that is another blue spruce. That definitely looks like blue spruce. Chop that down. Get this over to the truck. Okay, that should be good enough. That should keep the tree pretty well attached. So yeah, that one we're going to have to come back for. And then I guess there's like five in this server. That is crazy. I guess it's not as rare as it used to be. That is insane. All right, this tree is pretty much all chopped up. Let's get this in our sawmill as soon as possible so that we can go grab some more because we got that tree over there. I'm pretty sure that's still growing. We got that tree, that tree. So there's another tree in here if I remember correctly yep right here man it is so much easier to see these trees at day Jeez. okay yeah so definitely look for these trees during the day but yeah you can see that the bark is gray and that they grow with a big leaf on top so that's what you want to look for especially during night you want to look for the big leaf on top and if you can see the color clearly, then... Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. The, the rocks are falling down. I have to go grab some TNT. No, 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 no. Oh, no. This is... This was a bad idea. Oh, shoot. Okay, yeah, no. I have to go... I, I, I'm blocked in. There's nothing I can do. I guess what I could do, potentially, is just clean off all of these branches real quick. Okay, I've pretty much gotten all of the branches off of this thing. Now it's just rotating for whatever reason. Why not? You know, it's Lumber Tycoon. Why not do some completely random thing? <laughs> we just gotta wiggle this out of the taiga biome somehow. That's not going to work. I don't know how to do this. Oh, I think it's straightening out. Is it? Yep, it's straightening out. Okay, we can now finagle it through. 
underneath that rock and we are almost out i don't know if i can fit okay there we go we got the tree now we just have to w walk it all the way back to our base because we had to leave the car behind unfortunately Okay, so let's go ahead and chop this up, and we should probably switch that conveyor so it's not going to take it all the way up to the auto chopper. Let's go grab... I don't know, this one still seems pretty small. Let's go for the biggest one first, because that's the most likely to be fully grown, but they can be pretty small and be fully grown as well, so I don't know. I'll just go for this one, because this one looks pretty big. Let's get this back to our base real quick. Okay, we got some more blue spruce. Let's just cut off these branches. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this axe is so broken. Oh my gosh. Okay, I, I need to walk all the way back over. I wish there was sprinting in this game because this takes forever. And blue spruce number four is done. Okay, I think, I don't know, that's a very tiny, that, that's a very, very tiny tree. I don't know if that's fully grown at all. Um, I'm gonna go for the one next to what are us, because that one's a little bit bigger. I think it hasn't grown much, so it's probably either stumped or, I don't know. I'm just gonna grab it. We want to get all of the blue spruce trees before we go grab some gifts of pixelation so that we can get more blue spruce after we're done. Okay, let's get this back to our base real quick, and it looks like it is turning night. Hopefully the fairy will be here. Oh, he is, so we should probably hurry then. Let's get this through the sawmill and try to get the other blue spruce uh, tree before we go head over. I don't know how long the fairy is going to be here, though. It might depart before we even get to it. Okay, so that is one piece, two pieces, and then, yeah, we need to run over and grab the final blue spruce before we go to the tropics biome. Let's go ahead and chop this down. I know it doesn't look full grown, but I mean, some of them can be pretty small and not be able to grow anymore, so we'll just take it. It's probably fine. All right, final blue spruce. Let's just get this in our sawmill as soon as possible, as fast as possible, because we need to get to the ferry. It looks like it is still there, but not for much longer. It doesn't take very long for that thing to depart so we need to get all of these branches off so freaking fast uh this is very very stressful oh oh get come on chop 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 i kind of get the idea of the saying chop chop now <laughs> maybe that's what it comes from lumber tycoon wanting to chop things faster okay let's get this dynamite out of our truck and let's go oh no Oh no, he just departed, dang it. Oh, that sucks. Okay, well, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> I was fully expecting to be able to get some gifts of pixelation, but I guess we're gonna have to wait for the fairy to come back. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to edit this video as much as I can until the fairy comes back and then we can go grab some gifts of pixelation. Sounds like a good plan. Okay guys, I have finished editing and it looks like the fairy is there, but by the time I finished editing, man, I think enough time has gone by that we can probably find a few new blue spruce trees. So let's go ahead and search. Okay, I can already see one right there. Oh, another one right there. And oh, <laughs> yep, there's, there's three on the mainland so far. Okay, that is one nice big long piece. I believe that is all of the branches. Yes, it is. Okay, we're just going to do the same thing that we did to the other one. We're just going to chop it in half and try to get this into the truck. Yeah, if you chop it in half, it's, it goes into the truck a lot easier. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. Now we got to go get some dynamite, I think, in order to get up to the area over... Oh, maybe there's a little bit of a gap. We might be able Able to actually get through without any dynamite yeah looks kind of like there's a, enough of a gap that we can actually do that uh, looks like there's my truck from earlier okay um let's see oh there's one right there any others oh there's one okay I think oh that's six in this server so far I don't see any others 
yeah, so that was, that's the sixth one in this server. So apparently there can be, uh, as far as six, I think, I think that's as much as I've seen. I don't know if there's a limit for how many of these can spawn, but yeah, we're, we're probably going to go back to the base because we need to sawmill some of these because the truck is getting a little full, but we will be right back soon so that we can get the rest of the trees. I can't believe I was trying to save all of the little branches from the first tree I found. Now they're just everywhere. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, luckily we didn't glitch too much out, but yeah, this freaking, this freaking axe, I swear. I need to stop going in per first person with it. It's just a bad idea altogether. Oh my gosh. I, I did it again. What the heck? I need to not be in first person. I'm so I'm I'm in the habit of just always going into a first person whenever I'm cutting a tree. Okay, we are back at the base. Now we can go ahead and auto unload all of these tr little pieces. Okay, if we can, there's so many branches in the way and of course my truck gets stuck every single time, I swear, this sucks. Okay, let's just auto unload. And now we have to manually unload because my truck decided to get stuck. It's not much of an auto unloader if I my truck always gets stuck. I really need to fix that, but we have to expand our land in order to do that, so we'll, we'll wait a little bit for that. Oh no, 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 no. Come on, Electro! Oh no, I, uh, he, he switched it to one by one. Dang it, okay, now we have to like, deal with all these one by one <laughs> rods. Ugh, that sucks. Come on, Electro, why do you do this to me? You're supposed to switch a sawmill back after you mess it up, Electro. Come on. And yeah, now I'm just going to chop these pieces up because these are far too large for anyone's good. I'm just going to chop that up and put this on the shelf. We just need to fill up these shelves. I guess these are going to be the blue spruce shelves for now. I mean, they were koa wood shelves for a little bit, but ever since we uh, kind of used up all of the koa wood, and now we're, we're just, we have space for all of this blue spruce. I guess for now, because we are going to have a wood warehouse, which is going to be good for storing a lot of it, but of course the wood storage that we're going to be building is not going to be very ideal for mass amounts of wood, so it's definitely better to have these on shelves. Man, we have so much blue spruce at this point. That is so much. And we still have more in this server to go grab. So let's go do that. I'm actually... That's the wrong truck. We want to use the one that we can auto unload. Let's see. There's that tree. And it looks like it has definitely grown quite a bit more since the last time I saw it. So that's great. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and cut this up and I think I mean that's a pretty nice sized piece it kind of looked like it was a smaller blue blue spruce tree but it looks like yeah these are some pretty nice sized pieces so no problem there now let's go up to the taiga biome and get the remaining blue spruce trees and I think we will be a-okay okay so there's one and if I remember correctly there was one other I can't remember where it was I think it's is it underneath the arch or oh there's one huh I thought there was another one I can't remember what's I, I, I don't know let's just get this one attempt number two at auto unloading this time we're going to get a lot of speed come on oh we almost made it <sighs> Why are trucks front wheel drive in this game? I swear. Okay, we're gonna try just manually unloading it, I guess. And yeah, that definitely. I really, really want to fix this auto unloader. We'll get to it. Alrighty, guys, this is all of the blue spruce we got in this episode. Overall, I think that is a great yield. We might get a little bit more in the next episode, but it's hard to say. This is quite a bit. 
We definitely need to finish up the wood warehouse before we even think about getting more wood on this base, but yeah. Unfortunately, we didn't actually get to stock up on the pixelated gift in this episode. There just simply wasn't enough time. I was way too distracted getting so much blue spruce, but I'm very glad we did because we got so much blue spruce. This is going to be super, super handy. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. In the next episode, we are going to definitely stock up on the pixelated gift. And we're also going to finish up the wood storage so we can get all of this sorted out. And with that said, I'll see you in the next video once it's out. Thank you so much for watching. See ya!